Chapter 467, Winging in the Dow of Pills, Facing Off with Marshall Dow. Clap clip clip clap. It took a while for the referee to come back to his senses. When he did, he immediately began to applaud without reservation. He was beside himself with admiration. Zhang Chen, it had never occurred to me that you might be a genius at controlling fire. You've awakened the flames in every cauldron. That is an exceedingly rare feat even amongst the younger generation. Ha ha, Sage Dan Kai's eye for talent is really to be admired. The referee was human too. He had his own standards for beauty and admiration. Zhang Chen's hand just now had elicited honest appreciation from the referee, and so he didn't stint the young man his due praise. Of course, this didn't impact the impartiality of his judging. Yan yeah, Hongdu, you've lost the first of the three matches concerning pills. You still have two more chances, but if you lose in the next topic, cauldron inspection, then you'll have lost in the arena of pills. If Zhang Chen won two out of the three matches, then there was naturally no need for a third match. Yan yeah, Hongdu had yet to come to his senses from his defeat in the battle of controlling fire. He displayed his skills to the pinnacle of his ability, awakening seven flames. He'd even thought he was performing beyond his abilities, and was quite something. But just when he believed victory was within his grasp, Zhang Chen had awakened all twelve flames. This had upended everything. There was no way he could accept this. However, the referee's voice reminded him that he had already lost the match of, of controlling flames. If he lost the cauldron inspection match, then he would lose this part of the bet. This meant that no mistakes could be tolerated in the next topic. HMPH, Zhang Chen. You must have eked out a fluke of a win using some trick. But cauldron inspection relies on the keenness of one's vision and breadth of their experience. Don't you think you can slip by with trickery again? Yan yeah, Hongdu still felt that Zhang Chen had cheated his way into awakening all twelve flames. Otherwise, how could it possible that a backwater place like the Sixteen Kingdoms could produce a cultivator with such impeccable skill at controlling fire? That level of skill only made sense if displayed by a genius disciple of a large sect like the Regal Pill Palace. Zhang Chen couldn't be bothered to argue as he serenely waited for the referee to begin explaining the next topic. The second topic relates to cauldron inspection. There is one cauldron in front of each of you, both exactly the same. Each of these cauldrons have certain defects. Your task will be to find those flaws, no matter how minute they may be. Whoever finds more will be declared as the victor. One point will be detracted for every false identification made. Once again, the allotted time is 15 minutes. The rules weren't complex. A point was added for proper identification and a point subtracted for false positives. Zhang Chen almost wanted to laugh when he heard this. This competition was almost tailor-made for him. When his god's eye was combined with the evil golden eye, it would be too easy to search for the flaws in these cauldrons. When his god's eye was activated, even the tiniest of flaws would be magnified more than ten times over. The cauldron inspection match begins. The referee's bellow started the clock for the second subject. Yan yeah, Hongdu knew that things had come down to the wire. Therefore, he immediately flung himself over to the cauldron as soon as the referee shouted and began to carefully inspect it. Zhang Chen remained as laid back as ever. He gestured once, forming a chain of fire that hoisted the cauldron into the air in front of him. He thrust out nine successive gouts of flame, setting the surroundings of the cauldron afire. This was his unique method of inspecting cauldrons, a method that had been invented by a divine level expert. When a cauldron was heated and primed by fire, its flaws and obscure insufficiencies would be enhanced, becoming even more apparent. This kind of method was actually but a small trick, with not much use for it. Many pill masters used it to evaluate cauldrons before pill refinement, to ensure that the cauldron wouldn't explode halfway through the process. However, this small trick would be the trump card in Zhang Chen's hand that took home the victory. All of the cauldron's flaws revealed themselves beneath Zhang Chen's god's eye after it had been heated. There was simply no place for them to hide. PSH 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 PSH. Zhang Chen continuously slapped his mental mark onto each flaw, and in less than 15 minutes, had found all 15 flaws in the cauldron. When he looked at the time again, he noted that less than two-thirds of the allotted time had gone by. He didn't posture proudly, but unhurriedly retracted his hand seal and retrieved his fire, placing the cauldron on the stage again. Although the answer had yet to be revealed, Zhang Chen's bearing and casual grace still drew private admiration from the referee. At the very least, methods like Zhang Chen's way of inspecting cauldrons were something the referee himself had never seen, to say nothing of anything else. When those present saw how Zhang Chen stood there with quiet confidence and a dignified bearing, moving with such calm gestures and carefree attitude rarely seen in one so young, it was already enough to make Yan Hong come up short in their eyes. The bell rang as soon as the fifteen minutes were up. Yan Hong to cried out agitatedly, I've found eleven flaws, there are definitely no more. I've totally achieved full marks in this topic. There's no way that I'm not the winner this time. The referee laughed tryly when he saw Yan Hong to so incapable of keeping his composure. Yan Hong to, who told you you achieved full marks? Who also told you there were only eleven flaws? This cauldron has a total of 15 flaws. What? 15? How is that possible? How come I only found 11? Yan yeah, Hongtu was stunned, but then immediately laughed. 11 is still plenty. Zhang Chen, how many did you manage to find, huh? Zhang Chen smiled indifferently. Not many, just 15. What? Yan yeah, Hongtu started to guffaw. You're dreaming, aren't you? You can't cheat in this topic. A flaw won't appear somewhere just because you say there's one. Zhang Chen really couldn't be bothered to bandy words with someone like him and spoke to the referee. There are 15 flaws in total on a cauldron and I've tagged each one with my mental mark. The marks won't fade anytime soon, please feel free to inspect the cauldron. Although the referee had yet to go over the results, Zhang Chen's berry made him feel that there was no way this candidate was mistaken. Indeed, the referee nodded after inspecting Zhang Chen's cauldron. 
Zhang Chen has located all 15 flaws. Yan Hongtu, you located 11. As such, Zhang Chen wins again. Zhang Chen has won two topics in a row in the arena of pills, and this competition is now over. Impossible. Yan Hongtu couldn't accept this result at all. Zhang Chen won? The country bumpkin Zhang Chen won? On what basis? Honored referee, are you mistaken somewhere? This Zhang Chen comes from the 16 kingdoms. He's probably never even touched pills before. How can he possibly win twice? And so perfectly each time? Who would believe that? The referee's expression grew cold. Yan Hongtu, are you doubting my impartiality? Yan Hongtu felt his hairs stand on end, chills running down his back when the referee leveled a glare at him. Judging a competition was a duty that was on par with those of the Hall of Punishment in terms of impartiality. Whoever dared question his objectivity was questioning the entire regal pill palace. I don't dare question the honored referee, but I suspect Zhang Chen of cheating. Yan Hongtu refused to accept the outcome as he felt his loss was entirely the wrong result. Cheating? The referee laughed coldly. If he is able to cheat right in front of me, a sect elder, then that's his ability. Just how might he have cheated without knowledge of the topics beforehand? You tell me how he cheated. Yan Hongtu had nothing to say in response. Even if Zhang Chen had some sort of special treasure, that still wouldn't count as cheating. That was part of his abilities and his fortune. A competition of pills was conducted by pitting the holistic strengths of both parties against each other. Yan Hongtu, don't duel if you can't afford to lose. You should be able to accept a loss if you want to duel. Questioning the referee is courting death. Yan Hongtu trembled like a cicada in cold weather at the sight of Zhang Chen's eyes, afraid to say anything else. He glared ferociously at Zhang Chen. Zhang Chen, you may be able to use trickery to obtain victory in the Tao of Pills, but let's see how you do that in the ring. He turned his head without looking back after that and rushed straight for the martial Tao stage. Zhang Chen, meet me in the ring if you're a man. Yan Hongtu even purposefully left this parting shot, as if afraid Zhang Chen wouldn't show up. Zhang Chen laughed leisurely. Yan Hongtu, you can't conceal the weakness in your heart no matter how loudly you jeer. Remember, three years worth of stipends, even a day less won't do. A character like Yan Hongtu wasn't worth his interest, but three years of his stipend was definitely worth his interest. He was damn poor now, after all. Standing in the ring, Yan Hongtu stared at Zhang Chen with all-consuming hatred. It was obvious that his loss in the area of pills had thoroughly enraged his pride. He felt that Zhang Chen had utterly offended him. Life and death is up to the heavens in the ring. However, you are but peers in the same sect sparring against each other. I hope you are not blinded by hatred and pull your blows when you land them. Otherwise, if you kill someone in the ring today, someone else may kill you in the ring tomorrow. Another organizer was in charge of referee duties for the arena of martial Dao. These words held much warning in them. When sect disciples sparred, it was far from a matter of life and death, so there was no need for killing blows. Two wrongs don't make a right. A duel between those of the same sect rarely ended in a death. After all, everyone had a patron or someone backing them. If you killed someone today, it was hard to guarantee that someone stronger than you wouldn't come for you tomorrow. Therefore, participants never broke the unspoken rule of not fighting to the death in one of these duels. However, Yan Hongtu was currently blinded by hate and had thrown all those unspoken rules to the back of his mind. Right now, he only wanted Zhang Chen to die. He would be able to salvage his dignity, lost from his defeat in the Tao of Pills, if he trounced and tortured Zhang Chen to death. Zhang Chen could naturally detect this unbridled killing intent from Yan Hongtu, and had long since seen through his personality. Not only was this person narrow-minded, vicious and sinister, but it was apparent just how domineering and cruel this person was from seeing so much killing intent triggered from simple internal conflict. However, what fear did the current Zhang Chen possess in the face of a fifth-level origin realm now? He'd felt his martial Tao advance in leaps and bounds every day since entering the origin realm. The development of his various arts had bolstered Zhang Chen's confidence to the point where he had full faith even facing the peak of the Earth Origin Realm. He even had the courage to battle a Sky Origin Realm cultivator. Since Yan Hongtu was offering to make an example out of himself, Zhang Chen didn't mind using him as a stepping stone to make a name for himself in the Rosy Valley. The rise of one's martial Tao path wouldn't come with no rhyme or reason, just as status and benefits was continually built up and accumulated through conflicts with geniuses. Yan Hongtu's provocation of Zhang Chen was actually a nice opportunity for the latter to let his name resound. 